Hey, so I'm killing. Now I got a new knife. Uh, well, not really new. I've had it for a day or so. Um, no, this is another Tac Force knife. Like this one. Well, this is another Tac Force knife I got yesterday, October 26th. Today is, today is the 27th. Um, now, you're probably, like, wondering what the hell this white stuff is. It's actually the paint that has chipped off. Yeah, see all this checkered crap? That's just... I don't even know how... It's, like, printed on. Yeah, you can see how it's chipped off and everything. The other side's... Like that. But no, that's actually chipped off. Um, but no. So, I really love this knife, honestly. Now, not to the fact that... The paint's chipping off, but I do love this knife because it's not like one I've seen before. See how fast that is? But look at this nice, nice edge. Look at that chemical or whatever. The, I don't know what you'd call that. My dad, my dad has a Zippo lighter with the same type of like oil dip thing. I see, it's like multicolor bullshit. I do like that. Uh, another thing I do like this is it's a very stiletto blade. It's the definition of a stiletto blade. Let me just bring this knife out. This is considered a stiletto. You can see that there is a big difference in, not really length, but see how more pointy this one is? It's just thinner. You can see that this one is a lot... Oh, uh, not really thin. If, if anything, from like... These sides, it's thicker than this. Just top, from the top to the blade, it's just thinner that way. I don't know if you'd say more, it has more, uh, less depth. I don't know. Um, now it is a TAC Force knife. Uh, I can't remember what it, what it's called. But, um, so I'm going to start with this side. Uh, yes, it has the blue flame, and that's like, and it has a, a nice, listen, Type of grip. Uh, it hasn't. I haven't had too much time to mess with it. I don't really plan on using it as an actual like work knife. It's uh, blue flame with a uh, a light and dark gray checkered design on it, which pretty much was printed on there, as far as I can tell. Uh, on this is Tech Force Speedster model on the blade on this side. Very very nice sharp blade. I love it. On the other side, with the clip. It's just, there's no blue flames, it's just a checkered design. It says, hey, uh, it says, high carbon steel, USA design, made in China. Uh, now there is a little nub, a little glass breaker that goes on the end of this. It goes, I have it right here. And it's like, the actual glass breaker, it's, it screws right into the handle. It actually was stripped when I got it. So, it doesn't really affect me. I didn't want it because it's very sharp, pointed. It's very, like, re really, really pointed. I don't know how you can, you're going to be able to see this. You see how pointed that is. It's like very pointy. It's like, that would hurt me if I... You ever go to get in your pocket, and as you get in your pocket, you jab your hand right into the back of your knife. Or if it's open, you jab your finger right into the blade. I've done that before, and it hurts like a bitch. I actually did that with this knife, because the safety doesn't... So if anybody... This is uh, unsafe. This is... Well, unsafe. And this is safe. If I put the safe there... It still opens. And since it's the push button, it will open in your pocket, so I don't carry this in my pocket. And since in Washington, it's illegal to carry those on you in public... Or really anywhere. I don't carry that on me. And for that reason also. Is I've jabbed my finger right to it. I didn't, I didn't bleed or anything. Luckily I pulled my finger away. Before I could really draw blood. But no. This is a very nice knife. Uh, I do like it. Uh, despite even the chips in the paint. I, I did expect that when I first got it out of the box. I was like yep. That's the first thing it's going to blow. First thing it's going to go. Uh, when I first got this knife. What really drawed me to it is the blade. The oil dip blade. I know you really can't see it. I'm sorry. It's very nice. Yeah, you can almost see it, like, right there. It has, like, the green and the blue and the purple all in it. Like, purple and red. It's like a rainbow blade. Now, I don't know what they call that. It's, like, oil dipped or something. You ever look at oil and water? 
Now, you ever pour, like, mo like, you ever see a puddle and there's oil in it? And it has, like, a rainbow effect on it? That's pretty much what this looks like. Um, it does fit nice in my hand. Um, I do like that. Um, the one thing I do not like is that the, I, I mean, it's, it's probably just me, but this clip comes out really far for knife. Now, I know I have some other knives that the clip comes out that far, too. And all that, I mean, this clip comes out about the same, or maybe a little less. But since this blade, this uh, handle is a lot thinner than that other knife, you really feel that clip, which, I mean, it's not going to break or anything. I just noticed that more when I'm working with this. Um, very nice, easily controllable. Uh, most of the weight is in its real center of gravity. It's like right there. So you have more weight in the handle. I do like that. I don't like knives where there's a lot of weight in the blade. Unle like folding knives like this. I mean, like, I have a World War II knife right here. And there's a lot more weight in that. Eh, no, never mind. It's about even, so... But if you're working like, if you're talking like machetes or anything, I'm, I would like to, I would hope that you have more weight in the blade. But with pocket knives like this, EDC knives, which I'm not going to make this no EDC. Um, you want more weight in the handle. Uh, nice little linear locking system. I gotta take a little metal, metal file because it doesn't like to, you can see how it hangs over a little bit. I mean, it, it, it takes a little bit of effort to close it and everything. But I'm gonna take a little metal file and file that down until I get, until I get it right. Um, that's it. I, it is, I can't, I can't remember... I didn't buy this off of like KY Knives or Ultimate Wars or any of those other big knife sellers. I bought it off a small a small seller. I can't remember who. Um, and it didn't have like the full length title like normally it would be like have everything in it like what it has and all that like nine inch blue dragon flame oil dipped blade clip nine inch stiletto style something like that. I just seen the picture and I can't remember what the title was. Uh, but no, please like, subscribe, comment, um, and share. Uh, now, please. Uh, and now, if you know what they do with this blade, like what is it, what is it called? Please let me know because I can't remember for the life of me. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. So that has been my little new. Uh, that's my twenty-first knife. So I'll see you guys next time.